guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Dan. I'm Ellie. And, and this is the boat we're gonna rebuild, repair. We, we found it. Boat. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually driving past a garage sale in Lake Havasu and it was super, super cheap. Mm -hmm. um, so even all done, it'll be well under 10 grand with new furniture, everything. Way under 10 grand. We basically didn't pay anything for it. So this will be our time lapse video of removing all the really nasty messed up furniture and putting in brand new furniture. Mm -hmm. We're going to do some minor repairs, some things to the engine. So the nice thing is that it has new carpet and wood, which is good. And it has this big open deck, which we wanted, so we can put our stand up jet skis on it. And but all the interior is in really rough shape. So we just ordered new stuff. All new interior stuff. Um, Whoa, it shakes a lot when you're on it. Because the trailer. Old Johnson 115 V4 two stroke. And it does run. It has a bunch of new parts in it, so that's nice. But it's not pretty, mm -hmm. but we'll see if we can make it pretty. <laughs> Four. 1974? Yeah. The engine's a 78, apparently. Uh, probably originally came with like 60 horse. So here are some of the crappy seats that we have going on. We're going to redo the wood. Center console or Center. captain's console. Helm or whatever you want. These were homemade benches. Those are going to be turned into really awesome corner seats. Those are, yeah, those are getting thrown away. Thrown away. And then here's this crappy seat. And this is kind of what the inside of that looks like. All right, guys, this is a boat. We're going to show you the time lapse, but we did want to tell you that this is our first sponsored video. Yeah. Portion of the video is sponsored by Bomber Eyewear and we will tell you more about them a little bit later on. At some point, I'm gonna to need to pull up the carpet, find out why, what is messed up on part of the deck right here. Somebody cut squares in there, so I don't know what we are doing. So we'll figure that out later. Yeah, we'll have to remove this helm and center console first before we can remove those carpets and whatnot, so we're gonna to get to it. Yes, we totally used our house vacuum to vacuum the top carpet of the boat. Chillin' for two seconds before the massive unboxing happens. Massive amounts of boat seats. got this stuff from. Pontoonstuff.com is where we got it from. Yes. It's made. In China. By Deckmate. It says so. Boat seat. Mm -hmm. So this is our massive unboxing of everything that we're going to attempt to fit on the pontoon boat. We did do our due diligence. We measured for the most part. Yeah. And there's a pontoon boat builder app mm -hmm. on pontoon. Yeah, it was. Use that, put it in dimensions. It was really easy to use. You can change your colors and all of your stuff. So that was kind of fun. Anyway, so here's to the giant unboxing of stuff, and hopefully we can figure out which each piece is. Question. Uh huh. Uh, you know how they're kind of marked? Yeah, we're gonna want to do things kind of 
Like, do we want to leave them in there? Because this one's not marked. It just says CLB 200, which I don't know what that means. I don't know. I guess we just opened it up. But some of these say what they are. Lean back base, corner base. Yeah, flip-flop base. Yeah. Like, they say what they are, so. Should be pretty self-explanatory, though. Hopefully we just open them and have at it. Yeah. That's still going? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go. I'm going to keep this going for a little bit because it should be interesting. Butter knife, please. <laughs> using butter knives to open because it says not to use a utility knife. We have no idea where this is. So this has been kind of a chaotic mess, as you can see, with everything going on. If you're probably wondering what exactly we're doing, they don't come with much instructions. You get them out of the box, as you've seen. This guy comes with this little black thing with two screws and the chair. No instructions at all. It's kind of self-explanatory. However, we take a little black box that it has in it. Put two little screws in there, and then you line up those screws with these holes, and then we screw those down in there. This is preventing the seat from wiggling back and forth, so we'd assume, once you snap it in place. And once you have that done, you just put your seat in, and you snap it to the button in front. These are the type of seats that you see probably laying along the side of the road if you've ever been following a boat. They could fly off pretty easy. The only thing that's holding them on is a little button. So we'll be storing those somewhere while we transport the boat. And the second thing we've been doing is putting together the bases with the cushions. Now this comes with a few instructions. We have a sheet of paper which is generalized to each cushion, you could say. <laughs> Sorry. And the hardware is stapled to the bottom of the cushion. They're pretty easy, but with this guy, does this have hardware on it or is this it's hardware too? I guess this is everybody's hardware. So let's kind of lay it out here. We got bolts, washers, and wing nuts. These bolts with no heads on them go in here. And you screw them down about halfway. And then we're gonna put them on the base and secure them with the washers, lock, lock washers and wing nuts. So that part's pretty easy. You pick it up, you line it up with these four guys here. And you drop it in. I'm gonna use all this, which I shouldn't have dumped out of the baggie. And just put it in the bottom here. And we'll take a washer, a lock washer, and then a wing nut, and it'll go like that to each one of these. You guys can't see it, you'll just have to believe me. And then for the actual seat, they're pretty easy. They have hinges on the back, and they're gonna bolt to those guys, and those gum with little Phillips head bolts. Do you? Okay, that's good. We're just gonna put them on there right now, and then see where we gotta put it. Sometimes I feel like I'm better left-handed. There you go.
Dan and I are making minor adjustments to where we want the seats, so it will be most comfortable for us and our guests. Creating an area for the battery underneath the back corner seat. Back and forth. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a new screw cable at some point. Yeah. Pull them out and like thread them. You know, they're like stupid that way. Next, we had the bimini top, and this actually proved to be way more difficult than it should have been. And we could have totally used a third person, but we managed to make it work. Part, I was going to talk about our uh, partial sponsor for this video, which is Bomber Eyewear. Right there. And we kind of stumbled across them like two years ago at a stand up jet ski poker run where we bought our own pair. And we liked them so much, they're actually all that both of us use now. Pretty much. We don't go anywhere without them. Yeah, they're, they float. Um, and they're also safety glasses, so they're great for me. So I can wear them all the time. Weed whacking, grinding, cutting, stuff like that. Mechanic. Yeah, mechanic like for a living. So they're very handy for me. Dan and I don't go anywhere without these sunglasses. They float and they're perfect for boating. If you'd like to help us out and our sponsor, use code LE20 and get 20% off your order. These have storage. And in this one, keep a spare prop in that one. Ooh. Yeah. I think this one is anchors. Yeah. Well, two and a half anchors. <laughs> Just big weight and then two actual anchors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we even have anything in this one. Yeah, we do. Well, life jackets and the top for the bimini. Mm-hmm. I know we don't have anything in this. Are you sure? No. Oh, we got a buoys. Buoys in there. <laughs> okay. And more buoys. Woohoo! The flushette thing to run the engine when you're at home. All right. And then this one. And this will be the battery back here. Oh, Wrong yeah. One. Battery. Battery. So we did an awesome setup right here, actually. We managed to drill the hole through the back and to the side, the hole in the back is for lights and speaker wires so that we can attach it to a battery. 
and the storage of the battery is in there so it looks way nicer than having it out on deck. And eventually, we'll put a battery in this one too so that we can have even more sound on the boat and perhaps more light. Uh, just storage in here right now. However, let's show them what we're doing at the table. So, when we're driving around, that cannot be just sitting out here. Oh yeah, it'll fly off. Possibly. Yeah, so it comes off pretty simple. And this area has enough room in it. This little divider is pointless. Comes out. And then that goes in there for storage. Mm-hmm. There we go. That's a flip-flop captain's chair, so. So you can talk to your guests in the back seat. Could put a bench all the way across right there. We don't know that we will because yeah. the engine is right here, easy accessible. There will be a fuel tank where my feet are. Yeah. That'll be in the video, anyways. I probably won't put that in. Uh, anyways, so flip the chair back. There we go. That is our finished boat. Next, she'll be on the water.